You're watching Army Navy Week presented by USAA on CBS Sports Network. There is no game like Army versus Navy. And all week, while the teams have been preparing, the cadets and midshipmen have been getting ready too. Painting, cheering, lighting things on fire, and stealing each other's mascots. This is Inside College Football Army Navy Special presented by USAA. Inside College Football Army Navy Special presented by USAA. It is the eve of one of the best and most sacred college football games of the year. The Army Navy game. Adam Zucker here alongside Aaron Taylor and Bruce Feldman. And uh, guys, this game, the whole week leading up to it, they're filled with fantastic pageantry, all the excitement. Sometimes even pranks from the academy, stealing <laughs> mascots and all. Uh, guy, what's your favorite part of this rivalry? Bruce, you grew up near West Point, right? I did. You know, and anybody who hasn't been to this scene, I mean, it's just, even going to e any of the home games, I just think it's a spectacular setting. It's so unique. It's not like Alabama, Auburn. It's not like Ohio State, Michigan. I think they're, I hate to use the word, it's a dignified way of, of a respect. And I think you see that from the beginning, and you definitely see it. I didn't want to say the end of the game is my favorite part, but when you see, you know, after the game how it is unified, you know a lot of these guys are moving on to something a lot more substantial and talk about commitment and all these other things that this rivalry epitomizes. Yeah, no question. It's college football pageantry at its best. And I'll, I'm hesitant to use this word, but there's an innocence about this game for all the points that Bruce just said. These kids are playing the game because they love the game of football. I played against the academies when I was in college, and there is no quit. It's college football at its best on the finest day. Of course, their number one mission for one day, especially, is to beat the other guy. It's what they echo throughout the halls at both academies. The overall series is pretty close, with Navy now in the all-time lead, thanks to a decade of domination, winning 10 straight now over the Black Knights. But an Army victory this season would not only snap that streak, it would bring the Commander-in-Chief trophy back to West Point for the first time since 1996. So let's take a look now at the keys to success Brought to you by University of Phoenix, proud supporter of your future success. And Aaron, you start us off with your keys to success in this year's matchup. Well, the, the record may not show it, but Army, only two wins this year. But when you look at those two wins, they were impressive. They kicked the dog mess out of Air Force, a game that they basically shouldn't have won. They beat Boston College. They lost to the MAC champ, Northern Illinois, by only one point. They're playing in a BCS game. So Army needs to be able to go in there confident, realize we need to be able to play our game. But at the end of the day, boys, it's about execution. you got to be able to control the line of scrimmage, do what you do, and protect the football. Last year's game, they had two turnovers early in that ball game. They fell down 14 to nothing early on. They cannot afford to do that this week. For me, it's, it's that Army defense. I think you have to be able to slow down the run. You're not going to stop the run here, you know, because what, what Navy does is so good. They have, you know, dynamic threats in the backfield. But when you're 122nd in the country against the run, I mean, there's no secret what they're going to see. These guys know it. It's just, as you said, it's executing, and then I think it's staying focused for four quarters and just not, you know, just everybody do their job. Yeah, third worst in the country in yards allowed per game. They average five and a half yards a carry, but they allow 5.7. And the man who holds the keys to Army success is head coach Rich Ellerson. He has the tall task of finding a way to finally beat the midshipmen. Coach sat down with our Brent Stover earlier this week. Ten straight losses for this, and you, obviously you haven't even been here for half of it. But can you kind of put into words how that kind of comes up, how that plays itself out in motivating your team for this rivalry this year? They, they know that. They, that yeah, but frankly, I'm not sure that helps us. Um, you know, we've got all those young freshmen and sophomores. They, I, you know, they weren't here. This, this, and again, every team is its own creation. Its own, its own has its own personality, its own character. It has, it shares a history and it shares a legacy with those former teams. But this is a standalone enterprise here, and this game is a one-time opportunity. If you bring too much of that other baggage out there with you, it gets in your way. 
with all the events and the traditions and how special this week is, what exactly is it like for you this week of Army Navy? <laughs> well, this week is different for, from a coach's perspective because, as you say, the closer we get to the game, the more bells and whistles, the more excitement builds, the more distractions uh, start to filter into the uh, or try to creep into the equation that we have to try to filter out uh, and make sure that we get closer to the game that our guys stay focused on the game. How special is it? What's the best part for you of this week? What's your favorite part? You, you know, you're playing your rival. When you get to West Point, the first thing you see is go Army, beat Navy. And you see it on everybody's front door, and you see it every time you turn a corner. So this is uh, obviously a big deal, and you, and you look forward to it every year. For the millions that watch it every year, why is it such a big deal in your mind? It's a long-standing tradition between two service academies, two institutions that share a similar mission. Not the same mission, but a similar mission. A mission that's going to bring us together later in life. The, these cadet and midshipmen are going to share a common cause. They're going to be out there working on the same missions in the future. They're going to be in contact with one another. We have a lot of respect for them. Presumably they have a lot of respect for us. When you're competing with someone who you share a mission with, who you respect, there's, you know, <laughs> they're going to get our best. You know, sometimes if you've ever seen, you know, a family football game in the backyard, you know, your, 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 your brother's going to get your best shot. All right, thanks, Brent. And we'll hear from Navy head coach Ken Niamatololo later in the show. But up next, we take a closer look at Navy's talented and highly intelligent linebacker, Keegan Wetzel. Droid DNA by HTC. It's not an upgrade to your phone, it's an upgrade to yourself. Rated M for mature. Hey, you guys like Call of Duty? <laughs> yup. You guys ever seen Call of Duty in 3D? Whoa! You're fighting freaking Inky Future Robots! You're all up in it! It's all up in you! In 3D, the game start deeper and the explosions out! Oh! <laughs> Explosion here! <laughs> you know what they say, right, boys? Once you go 3D, <laughs> yeah, you get it. Call of Duty in 3D on a whole new level with LG. Itchy dry scalp could be your shampoo. Now there's a Selsun Blue just for itchy dry scalp. Strong itch fighters target the source of scalp itch, while five moisturizers keep hair healthy. No more itch. Selsun Blue itchy dry scalp. Got a clue? Get the blue. People ask me how I come up with the characters in my movies. I just try to make my 15-year-old self happy. It's what I love about working with my kids. They always teach me something new. Staying close to my family, it matters. The HP NB23 Touch Smart, available at hp.com or these fine retailers. Inside College Football on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by USAA. Serving the financial needs of the military, veterans, and their families. By Golden Corral's All-American Carvers. It's non-stop turkey, ribs, and more. Only at Golden Corral. And by the Scion FRS. It's time to bring the sport back to the car. Kemsa is the statue, we call, it's, it's called the God of the 2.0 in, in Reef Points, but for us, it's, as, as mids, it's the most popular monument for us on the yard. According to tradition, we paint it for every home football game, and we go all out for Army-Navy. So we're out here at least three or four days of the week before the game, painting it up. We take a, we take a lot of pride in it, so we make sure it's perfect before we're done. Ninth Company is always the company that paints it, and it's gone from just you know like stripes of war paint to changing him to Ronald McDonald or a leprechaun. But for Army Navy, we try and come up with the best ideas we can. Welcome back to the program. We've discussed keys to the game, and for Navy, one of their keys to success all season has been senior linebacker Keegan Wetzel. Always a leader in the classroom, Wetzel has applied grit and determination to his intelligence to become a force on the field in his final season for the midshipmen.
On the imposing grounds of the Naval Academy, dignity and respect are qualities that are highly valued and hard earned. Keegan Wetzel, linebacker and systems engineering major, touts a 3.89 GPA and entered the academy with the equivalency of a perfect SAT score. He's not only a threat on the field, but has established himself as a three-time first-team academic All-America, the first ever in Naval Academy history. I remember when I was little, you know, telling my dad that, I, Dad, I got a B on this quiz. He's like, you got a B? Why'd you only get a B? I think I took that kind of personal um, to know, like, dang, you know, you really can do better than this, so why not always do better? So that was kind of a personal drive for me. As a 175-pound freshman, Wetzel held no advantage over his teammates except for an enduring will to learn and a determination to crack the depth charts. Now a senior standing 6 foot 3, 218 pounds, he finally earned the chance to start at outside linebacker, this being his last year to make a mark. Prior to this, he was mainly on special teams, and he accepted his role uh, without any reservation without any complaints, and he did it to the best of his ability. I came off knee surgery in January, so it was kind of like, I'm either going to go all or nothing. You're going to put all this into, the, into this last season or, or nothing. And I had some really good guys behind me that, you know, the coach were talking about, the media's talking about. And so when you're kind of that overlooked guy, I guess it puts a little chip on your shoulder, especially as a senior. You know, when we were pumping up and publicizing and, you know, hyping some of these other guys, his attitude as a teammate never became detrimental to the team. I mean, his body language never changed and never pouted. It was more of a, a positive thing. It kind of inspired him, uh, like, I'm going to prove the coach is wrong. Goals are back. Hit and rock. And it's Keenan Wetzel. His play against Notre Dame when he sacked the quarterback in the beginning of the game, I, I think that's the moment, like, I knew he was about to have, like, a Pretty dang good season. I didn't see it coming. It feels good. Uh, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't said it didn't to finally be on the field. I didn't feel like I wasn't contributing on the scout team and as a special teams player, but you're always working to be that every down player. It's just crazy how relentless he is when he gets on the field and how determined he is and he refuses to lose. That's what I love about how he plays now. To the right pressure coming from behind Keegan Wetzel with another sack. It got to a point where it's like, wow, this guy's our best player right now. He's the MVP of our team. And he's having a way better year than even I thought. I mean, he's playing phenomenally. Big plays can spark so much. A big play on defense, sparking the offense, it can make the game. If we didn't have Keegan, I don't know if we were, we were one of the many games as we have this year. I'm just happy to get out there and to make plays and contribute to get our defense off the field and leave our offense on the field as much as possible. I couldn't ask more from a young man like that just to be a guy that brings our team together. I mean, he's truly shown great leadership. He epitomizes what we're looking for in a Navy football player. And guys, Wetzel, uh, one of the guys on this Navy defense that's put up some big plays, but uh, one of the few you see around the country, Bruce, who's applying those smarts out there on the football field. Yeah, 389 GPA in system engineering. <laughs> I know one person from the system second. engineering. <laughs> Maybe that's Aaron. Oh, no, 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 sir. But, uh, you know, and he's producing on the field. 13 and a half tackles for losses, six sacks. You know, rangy guy. A lot of times people think of, of some of the guys at the academies as shorter, squattier guys. I mean, 6'3", 220. Uh, you know, he and Jordan Drake, really good outside linebacking combination. You got to account for them on every play. Yeah, no question. We talked about it earlier about... Army's ability to not be able to stop the run, but they are very good running the football. They lead the country with almost 370 yards per game on the ground. But when you look at them up front, their offensive line, fellas, averages about 253 pounds. Their left tackle, Derek Bisgard, is listed at 6'1", 242 pounds. So we're going to need to see Wetzel and the rest of that Navy defense control the line of scrimmage and not give up big plays. The option is predicated on chunk play, chunk play, chunk play. Take it to the house. you got to be disciplined, get in your gaps, and get fitted up if you want to be able to stop Army or anybody that runs the option offense. And, of course, Navy has seen it. Wes Henderson, the defensive end, will be one of the key guys uh, doing that. He had the big play to really clinch the win over Air Force. And when we come back, Navy head coach Ken Niamatololo talks all things Army Navy with she and Stanwick Birch. you got to see it in person. you got to see it firsthand to truly appreciate this game.
When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. At USAA, we know military life is different. We've been there. That's why every bit of financial advice we offer is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. 